Hello, my name is Vanessa Fernandez and I am an educator in the Rio Grande Valley. And the issue that I will be addressing is a lack of mental health services in schools. In my profession, I have experienced how important and transformational mental health support services can be for students, particularly in educational spaces where students with a low socioeconomic status have little to zero access to mental health services. Additionally, cultural barriers from immigrant families in the area prevent people from acknowledging the need for mental health services in their home, despite being more likely to experience anxiety and depression due to fear of deportation. So if there is no access to help in schools, students don't receive help at all. Therefore, in order to address this issue, I believe the best solution is for schools to have a universal screening process and mental health support for K through 12. Universal screenings are necessary because they make it possible for everyone to be aware of their mental health state, for mental health to be something that is important, and for students who are suffering to get the help that they need. At the elementary level, this will look like teachers and students filling out short surveys together regarding um, the emotional state of the student and their classroom behavior. On the other hand, for middle school and high school students, they would fill out their own survey expressing how, um, how frequent they feel negative emotions and how severe their impact is to their emotional, physical, and mental health and their academics. And teachers could also refer students if they notice the student is experiencing high levels of sadness or stress. According to a study done in 2015 by the Journal of Educational and Psychological Consultation, 15 to 20 percent of students would be expected to need the screening, and there is no doubt this percentage has severely increased in the last 10 months. After the screening, if a student is found to need additional help, a student must be referred to a mental health professional based in the school. The school professional would then assist the student in finding the necessary mental health support within the school or community depending on the type of help they require. In order to make this possible, schools will need to go through funding that is provided to the state agencies by the federal government. Additionally, states can also apply for grant money through meeting the requirements for a screening process to be implemented in their school districts. Finally, I believe this is the best policy solution at hand, and if we continue to ignore these issues, an entire generation of young people will have long-lasting trauma. Thank you.